Located in southern Alabama, the city of Andalusia, with a population near 12,000, shares many of the same challenges as any other city, small or large. City leaders work tirelessly to cut city operating costs so they may pass these much-needed savings on to their citizens. While times are tough across the nation and cities have been forced to cut spending, the attitude is one of optimism and resilience in Andalusia. They have a saying there that while they might be a small community, visitors should expect the unexpected. The citizens of Andalusia like to boast quietly about their top 100 rated hospital, top tier education system, first class ballet company, steady economy, new business development success, and most of all, the camaraderie of their citizens. City leaders demonstrated their civic pride and fortitude by resolving an energy problem that was draining the city of valuable economic resources. We're a city of about 12,000 people. Uh, we have about uh, 6,000 uh, utility customers, uh, probably not quite that many uh, sewer customers, but uh, we, we provide electricity, water, and sewer through our utilities board. We just got a great thriving community. Our economy has held up. Uh, we've actually seen an increase in our sales tax revenue throughout this entire recessionary period, which is pretty extraordinary. Uh, so Andalusia is a very, very special place. The city of Andalusia's sanitary sewer collection system remains generally out of sight and out of mind until the monthly electric bill arrives or a failed pump demands an immediate response to prevent a sanitary sewer overflow. Much of the city's wastewater system was more than 20 years old, including most of the city's wastewater pumps. These pumps had lost significant efficiency due to their age and various clogging from rags and other materials. These clogging issues continually resulted in overtime crews being called to pull pumps. Add this to the general increase in electric power costs and the strain it placed on the city to operate this inefficient system. The city leadership knew action had to be taken. Probably the biggest issue with our system, and as it is with probably all systems, is the aging of the system. And uh, you know, you build, a, you build the plant and it has a expected life expectancy of 20 or 25 years and you all of a sudden you find yourself bumping up against that. We were getting to the point where a lot of our equipment was at or beyond its, its life expectancy as far as useful life was concerned. Earl Johnson, mayor of the city of Andalusia and chairman of the utilities board, and Bob Carter, engineering consultant to the city of Andalusia, identified a $250,000 U.S. Department of Energy block grant administered through the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs. This grant was made available for the purpose of significantly increasing energy efficiency in wastewater systems. The prerequisite for eligibility required at least 30 days of documented monitoring to substantiate a guaranteed 25% reduction in electrical consumption comparing replacement pumps to existing pumps. This grant was a, a grant that was part of the stimulus package it, that came through uh, two or three years ago. Uh, and uh, was targeted at uh, in creating energy efficiency in utility systems. At the time, Flight was running a promotion that indicated that replacing uh, a sewer pump with their end pump or their end impeller, uh, would, they would guarantee a minimum of 25% reduction in energy consumption. With Flight's guarantee of 25% savings, uh, it was an easy decision for us to make because we knew uh, if, if the pumps didn't live up to their billing, then flight was going to step in and, and make up the difference. And so uh, we felt comfortable at that point then uh, taking this grant from the federal government knowing that we would meet their requirement of 25% savings. In fact, we doubled it. Flight brand in pumps were specified as replacements. Well, obviously, uh, we have to recover our cost of operation from our customers, and our customers are the citizens of Andalusia, the homeowners and business owners of our community. So if we can reduce our cost of operation, then we, we're able to reflect that in the rates that we charge our customers. We were very impressed by the uh, performance of the flight-in pumps, and uh, if it were uh, 
if it were possible, if we could afford to do so, we would replace every pump in our system with these new pumps because they far exceeded what we expected the uh, efficiency increase to be. And in fact, uh, at the rate of uh, reduction of use of electricity, these pumps will pay for themselves in less than three years. Another issue with respect to pumping and lift stations is the clogging uh, uh, that occurs in these lift stations where you get materials, solid materials, uh, extraneous materials like roots and, and limbs and uh, weeds and that kind of stuff that gets into the, into the effluent flow. Stop, stops up the, the pumps, and then when you, the pumps stop up at a lift station, you basically put the lift station out of service, and you've got to send out crews to, to unclog it, get the equipment flo working again, get the material flowing again through the lift station. And of course, that's, co that's very uh, costly to do that because you have to send crews out, and it usually happens in, in an overtime situation where people are getting paid overtime up in the middle of the night to go get these, these systems back up again. So. It's very inefficient to operate that way. The reliability of the flight in pump comes from its unique semi-open screw-shaped design that prevents clogging and facilitates the unobstructed flow of fibrous material. By eliminating the wrapping of material around the impeller, thus impeding pump flow and efficiency, energy savings exceeded 45% in many cases. The leading edge of the end pump's rotating impeller passes a stationary relief groove located in the pump suction port. The dynamic action cleans and pumps away any rags, stringy materials, and solids from the impeller without compromising hydraulic efficiency. The engineering is more reliable than traditional chopper pumps that grind rags and other debris, yet are less effective against hard foreign materials. The in impeller is specifically designed uh, to uh, pass rags, uh, trash, and so forth through the impeller. It has a different type design than the typical uh, uh, impeller used in normal sewer, sewage pumps. So therefore, it is less likely to clog and uh, have gather restrictions uh, in the openings of the impeller. Uh, and therefore uh, lose efficiency due to the clogging. The competitively awarded contract replaced three of the five pumps at the wastewater treatment plant's influent pump station at one of the two sites. The three replacement units involved 45 horsepower pumps that historically incurred 90% of the duty hours. During the trial period, the advanced engineering features of the high-performance flight pumps delivered energy use reductions of 48.1% at one location and 56.1% at the other station. This surpassed the minimum 25% reduction required for the grant and pleasantly surprised all those involved and responsible for the project. I was shocked at the results. Uh, I expected uh, that the uh, increase in efficiency would be maybe around 30 percent. So to be uh, 48 and 56 percent was was very surprising to me and very pleasing. We feel like that this is a sort of a no-brainer. You know, uh, if you can increase your efficiency by 50 percent, uh, I don't know of anything else you could do to your system that would result in that kind of efficiency. Efficiency restored. Problem solved. That's the flight story in Andalusia, Alabama. What's your story?